Hey Billy Poe here. You seen how I clean that squirrel? Now I'm gonna show you how to cook it. I come out here to my farm, and uh, at my farm I always keep a uh, shovel and some small tools like that. But you can do this at your own private place. Like if you've got some place on public property that you sneak out to, and you can actually dig holes like this and hide your uh, cans. But I'm gonna show you how to cook this in a uh, in a can on a comp campfire, kind of like an oven. First thing I did. Let's dig me a couple holes. We're getting ready to cook a meal in a coffee can. So this is tin can cooking at its finest. Just a uh, simple, simple lid, just like the uh, hobo smoker. It's just a coffee can with the aluminum top. Peel the aluminum top off. Cut the bottom off the second one. Set it on there, no big deal. What you want, you want to have enough room to where you can set your can down in the hole have about four inches on top because you want about two inches of uh, two inches of um, coals on the bottom of this and about an inch two inches on top I got a big hole well they're both about the same size but I got a couple holes dug here and I'll show you how we're going to prepare this squirrel all right here's our ingredients here we have one squirrel two potatoes they're about the size of my fist two potatoes, a pack of uh, onion soup mix it doesn't matter where it's lipped in, this right here is just Walmart generic and just a little bit of water um, if you want and you're bringing this stuff from home you could throw carrots corn whatever you want to in it but this just happens to be the bare bones stuff that I decided to pack, pack out here okay I've got about an inch and a half to two inches of hot coals in the bottom getting ready to put our can in and finish it get the oven started Okay, I've got uh, coals all the way around my can. Coals on top of my can, getting ready to put a little bit of dirt on top. Okay, once I get the uh, all the hot coals around the can in there and on the top, I'm just going to put put dirt over the top. So I got my big can here and my little can in there. That's going to be my pear. I'm baking a pear, and I'll show you that on a different video. Put my squirrel in there. Now, I put I use more coal on my squirrel and my potatoes, or my stew, whatever you want to call it, than I did on my pear, but obviously because it's going to take longer cook, cooking time. And we'll let them set for a couple hours. Okay. Okay, it's been a couple hours. Um, check my pair. My pair wasn't all the way done. I don't feel much heat coming up from this, so it may have been a failure. I can tell you right now, probably didn't work. I don't know. We'll have to check that. It looks like it may be done. We'll check to see if this uh, squirrel's done. This turned out very, very good. Um, as you can see, this thing just this thing just tore apart. It have a white texture to it, and you'll see some dark streaks to it. That's just the way uh, 
uh, squirrel is. Kind of, it's kind of like uh, same should be about the same color as a uh, maybe a thigh of a chicken, but it's very good. I suggest you try it. Potatoes are even even done. They're this is going to be a good meal. Anyway, that's how you cook your squirrel on a campfire. Uh, I hope you learned something, because I know I did. Thanks for watching. See you next time.